what not to do with your platform. Yes. Okay. So to begin, dear members of the Duquesne University community, after a very difficult weekend for so many in both our city and across the nation. Okay. First off. Um, <laughs> oh, we're stopping already. All right, all right. And then he says, I wanted to write and share some thoughts. Okay. A very difficult weekend is like very, very cushiony way of saying a uh, police murder of an innocent black man. Um, but yeah, so uh, right off the bat, a very, very polite way of talking about police brutality. Exactly. Um, and are we nitpicking? Yes. And guess yes. what? We're going to continue to nitpick because that's as what we're we going should. to do. As we should. Now, although it's impossible to heal wounds so, wounds so flesh, it is nonetheless important to renew our pledge to stand up against the discriminatory conduct and injustice wherever we see it on display. Okay, good. So we sure. should expect to see Duquesne to stand up to the discriminatory conduct and injustice. So maybe they'll um, mention police brutality. Maybe they'll say Black Lives Matter. Who knows? Let's find out. Um, as institutions of higher education, we have a special duty to seek a pathway forward that is illuminated by an unyielding commitment to equality, mutual respect, and caring for all human beings. All right. So again, like commitment to equality, like support the civil rights movement that's happening right now in America. That's what it's leading to. Okay. Caring for all right. human beings. We're talking about yeah. this in a, it starts to take a little bit more of a Christian tone, but that's Duquesne. Stay on yeah. brand. Um, so already our lives have been turned upside down by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now sure. that stress is magnified a hundredfold by the recent unspeakable tragedy involving the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Um, it's not stress. Okay. It's, it's, <sighs> it's <laughs> I was stressed during finals week. Um, my experience in finals week is nothing compared to the struggle that black Americans have had to go through for 400 years. Um, or 401 years now, because it is now um, 1619 was the first year that black people came to America as slaves. So 401 years of oppression. Happy anniversary. That's not stress. That is, that is racism. <laughs> yes. Like that. It's, 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 it's a lot more than just racism. It's, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, uh, what is it? Is it stress or human rights violations? Yeah. Ah! Like, so. If, if you are going to use a word to equivocate the COVID-19 pandemic with George Floyd, stress is not the word. Maybe grief would be better. Like, stress. Yeah. And then also, the unspeakable tragedy involving the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. The, so, a uh, little bit of a spoiler. I, they do not mention the word police in this entire letter. Um, they also don't mention the word murder in this yeah. entire letter. So, or homicide, yeah, or so, manslaughter. That was the first paragraph. And it started off all right. You know, the first sentence was not great. But then afterwards, they're saying, you know, we need to stand up to discrimination. We need to fight for equality. Like, all this stuff that's, that's very good. And then they call it the unspeakable tragedy involving the death of George Floyd.